Finding new uses for historical buildings often requires us to confront change. What does that mean for the Hill Center? Color. What you see here is not an exposed brick building, which you would have seen in the last 20 years, but rather a painted brick building. This was an economical approach used in the 19th century to mimic stone. Through paint analysis, we discovered that these were the original colors representing darker and lighter sandstone. I'm David Bell, architect for the Hill Center. And where we're standing right now is what will be the new entrance to the facility. I want to point out a few things about color on the building. Specifically, you'll notice the windows, the hoods and the sills above and below the windows are exposed Seneca sandstone. This is the stone that we're using as a guide for the coins, which are the stepped brick on the corners to color that brick similar to the actual natural stone. I also want to point out to you the operable shutters on the lower level. Through paint analysis, we determined that these were a dark wood, and this really represents a natural dark wood, although it is a painted wood. We're on the first floor in the main entrance hall, and quite frankly, this is my favorite space in the building. The tall ceilings, the grand proportions, the plaster on the brick walls. The plaster in the building was not in great shape in every location, so we had to do some repair work and replacement. Plastering is a historical trade, and it requires really adept craftsmen. The craftsmen that did the work in this building did a stupendous job. We discovered a few things during construction, including this corner bead. Uh, this is actually wood where the plaster comes up and, and aligns with the face of it. Some would call that a screed. And it's painted to match the plaster. One of the best aspects of the entire building is the stair, this ornamental wood stair in the space. We were able to preserve the wood stair. And through analysis, we determined that the wainscot was a two-toned wood effect, and we really wanted to accentuate that. When this stair is restored, it's just going to be spectacular, and I'm really looking forward to a time when you can come here and visit the space on your own.